Hi you guys, it's Sally with Amelia Salon. Um, I want to talk to you all today about, um, more about hydration and about moisturizing water. Someone asked the question, um, why is there everyone on YouTube talking about um, water is a a moisturizer and I'm saying something totally different. Well, first off, um, I'm gonna say something totally different because I am a cosmetologist instructor as well as a trichologist. So, and a hair loss specialist. So with that being said, I'm gonna say something a lot different from someone who is not licensed. So um, being in this industry for a long time, I've come to the realization that a lot of people have started taking on to um, the, the YouTube channels. And they've done that because um, typically in salons, um, we do not, and I'm speaking as myself as well, but we do not do a lot of natural hair, but I do a lot of natural hair. Um, however, I just started um, doing natural hair in the last past uh, maybe six, seven years or so. But natural hair in school has not always been taught in cosmetology schools. Cosmetology schools um, pretty much teach us relax or chemical. It teaches chemical hair and um, and pressed, well, they're pressing out the, the natural hair. So um, with that being said, there's not a lot of education on to what to do to the natural hair. So that's where I come in at. So my passion was to come out or excuse me, learn more about natural hair. And I had to go natural in order to achieve this. So with me going natural, I learned that water is not my hair's best friend, along with a lot of other people. If it works for you, it works for you. Water and oil, if it does, that's fine. However, there are a lot of women that are out there that has coarse hair or hair loss that water and oil is not working for them. Just spraying that on their hair every day, all day long. In my eyesight, that's being, you're treating your hair as if you have a jerry curl. So you remember coming to America? Yeah. So we do not want to treat our hair like we're spraying something on it all day, all day long. We're not supposed to spray something on our hair all day long. Daily moisturizers are gonna consist of creams. It can be a cream and a liquid. However, the liquid does not necessarily has to be water. It can be a curl refresher like um, the main choice right here is um, the, the tropical moringa. Okay, this is you can spray this on your hair every day. Um, also, there is one also by True. It's a curl refresher as well. So are these products good? Yes. Here's another one by Shea Moisture. I typically use this one up. It's my fave. Um, also, um, here's another one by Talia Wahid. So it's a Shea Cocoa Condition. So it's a daily leave-in conditioner. Stuff like this or products like this, you can use on your hair daily not water. Water is going to dry your hair out because it's not a moisturizer. It's a, it's to be used as hydration. So typically, as I said in a previous video, you're not going to go to your doctor and your doctor is going to say, oh, um, well, you're dehydrated, Miss So-and-so. You're, you're dehydrated. So I, I need you to go and, and moisturize the inside of your body. No, they're not going to say that. They're going to tell you to, to hydrate it. How do you know your body's dehydrated? Because your skin is going to start cracking. Your lips are going to start cracking. It's going to be really, really dry. Your skin is going to itch. So if your skin and your lips are cracking from dehydration, from lack of water, what are you going to do? You're going to put water inside of your body. 
So turning that around, so your hair, your hair is now dry. What are you going to do? Are you going to go and put more water on your hair because it's it keeps drying out? Typically, your hair is drying out because you're adding more water to it. Water dissipates, it evaporates, it leaves. So you're now saying, well, um, that's what a, the oil comes in at. The oil is going to seal the water in. Okay, no, no. So if it does, you would not be spraying water on your hair all day long, two, three, four, five times a day. That's not how it works. I am going to actually do a study case and I'm going to spray water on my hair for the next three or four days. I'll say three days because I don't have that much time. I'm actually working in the salon and I have to look appropriate when I go into the salon. So I'm going to from today up until um, probably on Tuesday morning, I'm going to spray my hair with water. Yes, I'm going to spray my hair with water. And I'm going to see, you hear that? I'm going to see what my hair is going to look like after I've done this. So you guys see what I'm doing? I'm spraying my hair. This is something that I do not do. And I mean, I'm really about to freak out right now because I don't do this. This style has been on my head for what, since last Sunday. So, um, I'm going to do this for you all just to prove that you're not supposed to spray water on your hair all day long. And you see what's happening? My hair is shrinking. I hate that. I hate that my hair is shrinking. So someone's probably going to say, well, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to spray it and then twist it back up. It's still going to be dry. It's going to be dry. And it's not going to look decent. It's not going to look really good. So. I'm going to now go into um, <laughs> into the bathroom and I'm going to spray my hair down and um, we're going to see how this works for those who love to spray water on their hair all day long, every day. <laughs> 